Hey you guys, MD here with Ultimate Tool Reviews and uh, I picked up something really cool off eBay. You can actually still buy these on Amazon, still buy them from Makita, it's not like they're discontinued or anything. Uh, but you, I got the Makita Coffee Maker and it runs off LXT and CXT batteries. Kind of a little cool thing where you just kind of swap this over here and now you can do a, put a CXT battery in there or just run off a regular LXT battery. And what's cool about this is it comes with everything you need to make a just one single serving of coffee. So they include a, of course, a little Makita coffee mug here with the cap as well. Um, nice little aluminum coffee mug. Um, you know, of course it heats up quite a bit when you're putting a cup of coffee in there, which was insulated would be kind of cool, but oh well, not too big of a deal. And uh, just slides right back in there. Really simple functionality. Um, easy to clean too, which I like. Here's where you put the coffee in right there. And it got a nice little click as well too when you put that back in to know that's all the way in. Um, up on top, we've got where you put the water. And let me show you in here. So you can pull this out, add water really easily. And then you put that back in and it just clips back in. And you're ready to go. Got a nice little handle on it as well too. It has a little bit of resistance for when it gets to about here, which is nice. So you can carry it around really nice. And overall, it's really light, really compact. So if you see like my hand on the side of here, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be in person uh, than when I ordered it. But if I measure it here, we are about nine inches from front to back. We are about eight and three fourths tall. And overall, let's see how wide we are here. If I count the battery section as well, it's about six inches wide. So this thing is actually pretty small here, guys. This is pretty neat, just how compact this is. And from people that I know that own these, they said they're fantastic for camping. If you gotta make just a couple of, cu couple of cups of coffee when you're totally off the grid, but you still got some Makita batteries with you, it's a fantastic solution. Um, now I do like that it does feel quite durable. Uh, made with that same Makita plastic and pretty light. This could fit in a backpack pretty much no problem, although it would take up you know, a decent amount of space in a backpack, but overall really compact as well. Um, other than that, I found, found, also found it was pretty easy to clean, which is nice too. Uh, I wouldn't hose down the whole thing or put it like in a dishwasher or anything, but you can take a nice wet rag and you can pretty much um, wash it out like a regular cup or anything. Pretty easy to do that way. Um, now, let's make a cup of coffee with it. So, pretty simple. I'm just going to take a 5 amp hour LXT battery, slide that in there. Going to add some water, and I will take this out just to show you how this works. All you do is just fill this up. There we go. Pop that back in. I do like the little nozzle here that it doesn't leak when you are carrying it. So once you pop it back in, then it allows it to add the water in. Close that. We're gonna pop this open. We are going to add some coffee here. Oh, what I wanna show you too before I add the coffee is that this little tray pops out. I'm going to clean that a little bit easier as well too. Pretty nice there. some coffee in there all right got that coffee in and let's put that in and now let's do this in, in real time so I'm gonna hit this button uh, makes a little bit of a humming noise I don't know if you can hear that on the video but makes a little bit of a humming noise and what's gonna happen is this red light will then go to just turn off I wish it would go to green or something would be kind of cool but uh, it's going to first run some water through as it heats it up that's gonna slowly drip it down to the coffee mug. So pretty cool overall by Makita that they have this. Um, also, I've noticed that they have it in Japan. I haven't seen it in the US. I think maybe a few guys have imported it yet, but you can also get that dark burgundy version of this as well too. So I tried to find one. I couldn't really find one from looking around, but you know, the Makita teal is still pretty cool. And uh, you can use it just as a regular, regular, like, you know, heat up a cup of um, like hot cocoa or tea as well. Works just fine doing that, which is pretty nice. Um, I know a few other guys like using the CXT batteries, but it does pretty much wipe out the entire CXT battery when you use it. So I would probably recommend just using LXT as it sometimes just takes down maybe a bar or two on that as well. Um, 
I also got this for quite the deal on eBay. Uh, I only paid about 60 bucks, shipped to my house. Um, the guy who I bought it from said that he was using it on a couple of camping trips, and he said that he liked it, and uh, he used it probably like five or six times, he said, and he just said, I'm selling it on eBay, and let's get rid of it now. So uh, I thought for 60 bucks, fantastic deal to check it out, pretty cool. And I'll uh, probably just kind of keep this on my shelf. I don't really drink coffee too much, but I do hot cocoa, maybe hot tea once in a while, kind of fun there. And uh, just something really cool to have from Makita. I'd love to pick one of the Makita bikes, actually. Uh, those are pretty cool. I think they're like 36 volt, uh, just power assisted bikes. Uh, I haven't been able to find one for sale anywhere, which would be awesome to even find one. Even if they're $2,000, be cool to at least see one, maybe on eBay or something. But I don't know if you can hear that now, but there's a little bit of water going into the cup. And uh, here we go. As we can see, we're already filling up with coffee. Now I will say, as we're filling up with coffee here, this is gonna get quite hot. So definitely be careful around any kids or pets with this. Um, this cup is already gonna be pretty hot. Don't touch the aluminum on here, just touch the handle. Um, up here, I noticed that it gets pretty hot as well too. So where probably the water comes down on that coffee there. So this gets pretty hot by the end of it. And uh, I also want to show you uh, most of the LXT batteries. It burns about one bar per cup. But just waiting here to get that cup of coffee. I think we're at about two or three minutes now on that. And uh, that's overall not bad at all for how long it takes to warm this up. Of course, there's always be something faster, something better, but cool to have something that can entirely run off batteries. Um, you can have this setting in your truck, uh, sitting in the trailer, and uh, you can make coffee. I don't even have to worry about getting power to it, which is nice. It'd be really cool if they actually included maybe like an AC adapter of some sort for this. It would be kind of interesting. Um, it would be able to power it off solar. It would be kind of interesting as well, too. It would be cool if someone like DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee made some type of uh, kind of outdoor-themed tool set like this. Uh, we got so many batteries. Oh, you know, you could even do like some of the DeWalt or the new uh, Milwaukee carry out. I think it's what's it called, the carry something? Uh, we put four batteries in, and now it's basically just an inverter. I know DeWalt has that. Um, Makita just came out with their new one. I'm sorry, uh, Milwaukee came out with their new one, not Makita. Classic Makita, though. Um, I know they have a three-year warranty on this, and uh, just a really cool, really compact design from Makita on this. It says Makita everywhere on this thing. It says Makita on the front, Makita on your cup, Makita on the side. We've got Makita over here. Uh, I'm going keep in the batteries, of course. All right, and the light just went out there, so we are all set. So let's grab this cup of coffee off here, and let's see how it did. So, of course, that cup's going to be a little toasty, but there we go. Perfect cup of coffee every single time. Now, one thing I did notice about this is that it gets a little bit of um, condensation right up in here. And if we pull this off, of course, you can see we got a little bit of steam coming out of there. Not a big deal. And if you look at the water, perfectly takes all of that out, which is nice. I'd always say, you know, make sure you pop this out and clean this out and make sure of any mold from getting in there because it's going to trap water underneath um, this plastic piece as well, too. So make sure you keep this thing clean. I uh, don't want to get any mold in here. Also, let's see this battery. All right, so pulled the 5 amp hour battery out of here. And also, guys, be careful up here. This is actually quite hot to the touch. So when you're pulling the battery out, use caution there. Uh, took a little bit longer this time, I think, to get through those coffee grounds. So we used two bars off a 5 amp hour battery. Um, so depending on the type of cough that you're using, can affect how much power it's going to pull off a battery. So as I said before, if you're just doing a cup of water, I uh, pulled off one bar off a of 4 amp hour. But I did a nice cup of coffee there. So I don't know if that's gonna to be totally typical of how much power it's gonna be using, but that's quite a, quite a bit there. So probably maybe two cups, um, maybe 1.8 cups of coffee per battery, depending on how much power it's got for the next cup there. But overall, not bad. And that's actually a pretty nice cup of coffee there from just the Makita coffee maker. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment below if you got one. And let me know how you like it so far. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.